All right, lesson number 34. We're gonna go into the tunnel to do this video. Got a lot of And I creep. got a seashell. Right, yeah, there's a lot of seashells here. There's a lot of creek tunnels here in our neighborhood. The world famous Rio Grande River, which borders Texas and Mexico, runs right through our neighborhood, but the river's dry this time of year. So we can come down here and pick up seashells. Right, so today we're gonna get into the practical instructions on what to do at death to avoid reincarnation. So in order to activate the lytic cell cycle to take dominance over the lysogenic cell cycle, in order to make the journey through the quantum black hole, in order to access the correct solar wind, which is the magnetopause, to become the chemoluminescent god instead of be recycled back here as a photosynthesis being, instead of getting caught in the process of reincarnation, you gotta know what to do. At the near-death experience, at the moment of death, everyone says that they see this tunnel of light. You don't wanna go toward the light. We're in the darkness where we wanna be. When, at the moment of death, when you see this bright tunnel of light in front of you, you gotta know the tunnel of light is a trap. You don't wanna go toward the light. Because? It'll recycle you right back here. The, that light will turn into the lights on the ceiling of the hospital and you'll be born right back out of another womb. Do not see, go toward the light. One must consider that the chaotic um, uh, magnetospheric process are those of reaction diffusion kinetics. So possibly all the deceased must do is be in the right place at the right time. That is an origin of reconnection at the polar cusp Whoa. and the kinetics will transport him. For if during those late dying earthly so moments, the deceased is able to gravitate or will his conscious molecular remains to the polar staircase sites of the yeah. reconnection, then it seems that events that events would unfold automatically, unveiling a different reaction pathway than the deceased would experience at any other location on Earth. It may be that the time immediately after death is crucial for achieving the desired chemical reaction. The question arises, how does one will a molecular um, consciousness to the cusp where an order set off chaotic events will occur. Right, so you have to will your consciousness to the cusp. Mm -hmm. All right, read that next section. Because gravity pulls objects down and the ground holds them up. It says air moving toward the poles curves to the east. Air moving away from the poles curves to the west. Air moving east curves toward the equator. Air moving west curves toward the poles. The Egyptian texts emphasize a movement to the beautiful west, and the Egypt is located in the northern hemisphere. Right, so Air a movement to the beautiful west, that's key. And that object. Heading west would be deflected north due to the Coriolis effect. Objects heading east would be deflected south. Right. So it's very important to understand the Coriolis effect. Research the Coriolis effect to understand how this works. With the Egyptian instruction, instructions emphasizing a western path to the northern polar region, it seems possible that they were aware of the Coriolis effect, which would bring a west-moving entity to the northern polar region as a consequence of the principle of the conservation of angular momentum. And it says, certainly other factors may influence the deceased course. For instance, if we assume the deceased is a charged particle, then we would have three distinctive motions. Gyration around a magnetic field line. Gyration. Gyration. Bounce motion along the magnetic field line and drift motion across the magnetic field lines. Also, electrons drift westward while ions drift westward. So if the deceased in the afterlife is an ion, perhaps he can set his automatic pilot. Right. And says, on cruise west and easily drift to the beautiful west, arriving at the cold 
polar north, an element on rich gap in the Earth's magnetosphere. Right. It says, but if the deceased is an electron drifting west with protons, we would imagine the following scenario. The deceased decides to connect with solar and high energy ions at the magneto pause of the northern polar cusp by going toward the beautiful west via the Coriolis force arriving at the pole with his new dev vision he sees actual energy landscapes of a great stairway or ladder radiant auroral shapes such as arcs bands rays pillars draperies and coronas created by a magnetic field lines and the solar energy the deceased climbs the auroral great stairway and according to textual advice he is at the famous gap in the western mountains or polar cusp right that's the great stairway of osiris which is the northern light at the at the cusp in the earth's magnetosphere you have so, to ascend the great stairway if you want to get to the Northern Lights, right, you got to mutate the, the Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, Hedgehog gene. gene. But how do you do that again? We're getting into that. Read, read on. Okay, where he joins Ree's ferry boat for the trip through the Dua, the first division of the Book of Gates of the Dua, according to the sarcophagus, um, sarcophagus, sarcophagus of Fed Seti, Aish shows the mountain of the West Split open for the solar bark to sail through. The goddess is symbolized by the transformative beetle. In the disc, encircled by a serpent, symbol of energy, the text states that the great god whose transformations are manifold will join together his members budge 1,905, 84, suggesting Molecular self assembly. Right. So, so that has to do with the DNA being carried by the phage vector, the molecular self assembly. Mm hmm. The deceased at the gap states, I fly and soar between those great mountains, in which reappears Coffin Text 305. All right. A gene can be inserted into a vector or plasmid for cloning in two orientations. DNA is an anti-parallel and would thus be backwards and upside down. If he turned the DNA around, if he inserted the gene in a left to right. Right, so, so left to right is the orientation you want to go in. Read on. Okay, it says, orientation with the direction of transcription translation going from the gene to the origin of replication the right to left orientation would be the reverse coding sequence the egyptian pyramid texts urged the deceased to move from his left side to his right side right so the pyramid the egyptian text urged the deceased to move from his left side to his right side so it's like astral projection you're going to will your consciousness to turn from the left to the right now read on Pyramid text 12, 482, 487. As do the coffin text, coffin text 1, 219, 327. And it says, and the Theban recension, chapter 68, suggesting the left to right um, cloning orientation. Apparently, the left to right orientation is transcription, translation, produces a product different from that to the right-to-left orientation. Also, this left-to-right orientation may suggest beta decay in nuclear reaction in which beta particles, negative electrons or positive positrons are absorbed by or emitted from the nucleus of an atom. This process involves weak interactions and left-handed particles. For example, if we look at the counterclockwise rotation of the Earth in the image that it is an electron, the Earth's rotation would make it a right-handed particle. 
If it rotated in the opposite or clockwise direction, the Earth would be a left-handed particle and have a left-to-right orientation. We call it the Coriolis effect pushes a west-moving entity to the North Pole because the west-moving entity is going against the Earth's rotation or clockwise. This entity is mapping out a lot a left-handed path to the North Pole. Right. It says, so the Egyptian advice regarding left to right orientation may have determined the Pacific beta decay or a left-handed particle. Involving, um, it says, this means the pharaohs understood that when you put electrons in a magnetic field that spins line up so that their magnetic field p points the same way as an extremely applied magnetic field. Applying this idea, the high energy sun god and crew now became the internal applied magnetic field. That causes the deceased to make a 180 degree turn. Right, so you have to make a 180 degree turn. You're, so you're going to reject the light, you're not going to go into the tunnel of light at the moment of death, and you're going to will your consciousness from the left to the right 180 degrees. That is a flip altering the magnetic orientation of atoms. So you see here it says 180 degree flip left to right. Cloning orientation, left-handed weak interaction decay, and P symmetry violation and aligned magnetization. 304. What's 305? It's just these two sections. 305. Right. 305. In chapter 152 of the Theban Recension, Osiris rises and turns himself from his left side to his right. Right, Osiris Which, rises and turns himself from his left side to his right side. So, you're, a lot of people at this near-death experience, they see this tunnel of light. You're not going to go toward the light. You reject the light. You turn yourself all the way around facing the other side, 180 degrees from the left to the right. Which is a 180-degree turn. Right, it's a 180-degree turn. Parity reversal turns up to down. Parity reversal. Reversal. Left to right and front to back. We discuss the same process related to bio, biological molecules. In part two, when the deceased turned from left to right for insertion into the lambda vector, now we observe Osiris performing the same 180 degree turn from left to right, indicating a left-handed molecule. Because of this, the, this parity revel. So, Parity Os reversal. Reversal. Osiris rises or the prophage excises, activating the lytic lifestyle. And Osiris is represented as upside down and inside out. We could say that Osiris is now a left handed bio biological molecule that behaves differently than a right handed molecule. And so is the deceased. So it may be that this left-handed feature shows that the origin of the recombinant species is related to the undearling asymmetry of weak asymmetry asymmetry of weak interactions, which violate charge and parity. Right. So doing this is going to activate the lytic cycle to take precedence over the lysogenic cycle. Otherwise, if you don't do this, the lysogenic cycle is going to take place and you're going to be reincarnated, recycled right back here as another photosynthesis being.